just like to say to Andy Bishop, thank you very much. We have it well, you Andy. Thank you so much. Um, when a man gets up and talks about being shot twice as if it was just a matter of fact, it touches me. And we're we here today, most of us have never experienced war. We've been very blessed in this country. And I, I looked up this morning, what is a veteran? It says a veteran, whether active, duty, discharged, retired, or reserved, is someone who at one point in his or her life wrote a blank check made payable to Australia for an amount up to and including his or her life. Now I can't grasp the, the significance of that. I, I look at these young soldiers around here today who probably have never seen combat, but they offered up their lives and one day they may have to give their life for what they believe in, the freedom and the prosperity that we have in this nation. And this is why I pray a prayer not for the dead, but for God who granted those people to be willing to die so that you and I could have our freedom today. Someone once said, history ignored is history repeated. We don't want to repeat the history of war. Father, we thank you all the men and the women who gave their lives so that we could enjoy the freedom and the prosperity that we have today. Lord, I thank you for organizations like the RSL who remind us yearly, lest we forget. Lord, we pray your blessing and protection on them to help us to keep remembering from whence we've come and the lives that were, sh the, the, the were given, the blood that was shed. Lord, I pray for all the families that suffered loss, all the families that suffered the loss, losing of a son or a, a grandson or father. Lord, war always comes at a cost, and there are no winners in war. So we pray, Lord God, that you would keep this nation from the perils and the disaster of war. Thank you for this nation, Lord. Thank you for those who serve and are prepared to give up their life should it come to that. In Jesus' name, amen. SK Media.